Foreign direct investment remains critical to Ghana's development. On the average, net FDI inflows over the last decade has accounted for over 5% of gross domestic product and about 75% of personal remittance flows. However, a survey by Imani Center for Policy and Education and the Ghana Netherlands Business and Culture Council indicates about 60% of businesses have experienced their cost components increased between 25% to 50% between 2022 and 2023. A situation general manager of the council believes chases businesses away from the country. Then you have the pressure of the EMF on the Ghana government uh, basically uh, that, that they have to uh, create more money, more income, and then they go to the low-hanging fruit. And what is the low-hanging fruit in the society? These are the companies who are already paying uh, 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 the taxes. So they go back to those companies and they try to get more money out of them. Instead of what we've always advised, make the pizza bigger. So create more people who pay taxes instead of going to the same people and get more taxes from them. Because in the end, you, you chase them away. Senior research analyst at Imani Center for Policy and Education believes all is not lost yet. What we, we believe is that if you're able to create a lot more supportive policies, create an enabling business environment, we will be able to increase uh, foreign direct investment in the country. Again, what we also believe is that government must also streamline the regulatory and compliance process to address the high cost that businesses face, as well as collaborate with Chamber of Businesses to understand the needs of the businesses.